In this session, we will record petty cash transactions in Rascal Management. Normally, in your school, you have your petty cash voucher that you record and then the teacher sign, etc. And then you record it in your Excel spreadsheet. In the system, we do it almost the same way. We create a payment document to account for your petty cash. So we use petty cash as an expense. Okay, so for that, we go to bank and then payments. This will show you a list of all your payments from your bank account and from your petty cash account. So I will click on create. And then the first thing you do, you change the bank account because the money is not coming out from your main bank account, but it's coming out from your petty cash. Okay, and then your payment method, it would be cash or if it's card, you can select card. You leave that blank and then the posting date, this would be the date that this transaction actually happened. Let's say, let's say um, July the 31st. All right. The reference number is generated automatically by the system, but you can, you are free to remove this and put in your petty cash voucher number. Um, I will just put 7890 as an, as an example. And then I will click add. And this is where I'll add my general ledger expense account that I'm basically spending. Let's say this was for, let me just look at all my accounts. And let's say this was for, staff refreshments. Okay, the amount, let's say it was 70 Rand. And now here we can put, for example, three coffees. That's what we use this money for. Okay, three coffees by grade one teacher, Mr. Oliver just as an example. Okay, and then after this, all you do is you post and close, and then your payment appears in your list. Let's say, for example, you want to see all your petty cash payments. You just write petty, and then you appear here, you have your petty cash payments, and if you swipe there, you see the rest of the information. Okay, you have here your expense account, three coffees by grade one teacher, Mr. Oliver. And then if you wanna put something else, for example, um, notes, maybe you can put here coffee bought during break duty as an example. And then you post and close, that's it. And that's basically how you record your petty cash. Let's say you want to see now the balance in your petty cash amount to see if you have to maybe Get another check from the bank, etc. You go to accounting, chart of accounts, and you search for petty cash. You click on it once and general ledger. Okay, so we have here all the information, your opening balance, and then this is how much you have in your petty cash account 2380. And that's how you do your petty cash. If, for example, you find you want to record a bank check that you issued for petty cash, it will appear in your bank stream. So you don't need to record it through a journal or any sort of thing. You go to bank, bank stream, and then the, the transaction will probably appear here. Let's say it is this one. Let's say this one is for petty cash. I would straight away come here, petty cash. And as you can automatically see, it says transfer because now we're moving from your main bank account into your petty cash bank account. And I will transfer. Now, if I open my petty cash account again, click on it once and then general ledger. I will see the transaction recorded there. And now my balance increased to 2975 instead of 2, 
$1,300. And that's how we deal with petty cash in rice school management.